This is going to be a quick video on the Anbunic RG 351V I've just bought. And I bought this to play Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games. I never had a Game Boy Advance, so I've bought it for that too. So you can play all the games for that. You can even play up to PlayStation 1 on here, but I'm not really fussed about that. And it depends what game you play on it. Some don't run that great, so yeah. Um, don't buy one of these thinking you're going to be able to play it out of the box. This one that I bought, the uh, the seller had already put some SD cards in. Little cheap ones and they put games on them already. Some don't. Some don't even come with the software on it. So you can watch versions online which are much more detailed than this. And they don't have someone going basically or uh, all the time. Which is what I mostly do in my videos. But the simple way... If you want to play one of these, there's two card slots. That card slot there contains the firmware, and that card slot there contains the games. That's if yours comes with games, if you've downloaded games or ROMs, whatever you want to call them. They'll go onto the memory card, and then that memory card goes in that one. The memory cards that come with these are really cheap and they fail, basically. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put new firmware on it. Now, this laptop. <clears throat> if you take out the hard drive and turn it on, it'll have like a basic system running. Then you'll put a laptop hard drive in it and put Windows on it. This is like a miniature computer too. If you take out the SD card slot for the firmware, which I showed you the top one, it'll turn on and it'll have a basic system called RetroArch, but it won't have a system that can play games. You'll need to download that. Now these do normally come pre-installed with a system called MUELEC which is perfectly fine, it will do the job. Um, but I've noticed when I've been playing with that system, it gets quite hot. And there's another system you can download called 351 ELEC, which is updated now, it's changed its name to Amber ELEC. Uh, and I think there's a few more you can download as well. But the easiest one you'll want to do is Amber ELEC, because it runs exactly the same, you get decent performance, and Nintendo 64 works better, I've been told. So what you'll want to do, I'll just uh, get it ready. I'm going to put two links in the description. I'm going to put the stock firmware for if you want to put memory cards in it that are new and you want to put the existing firmware back on it. Uh, and then I'm going to put the link to Amber Elec. So you'll want to buy two cards. Get rid of the ones that are in it. You'll want to buy two cards. The one I've put in here is SanDisk ones. You can tell by the grey and red. That's a 64 gigabyte one. I'd recommend a 64 gigabyte one because you've got a bit of breathing space depending on what system you put on. And then that's a 128 gigabyte one, which is probably overkill because I'm only using Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. Like I said, this card here, the original one came with all the ROMs on it. So I copied them to my PC. As you can see, you've got Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Um, so... That's the original one, the MUELEC, that's the stock image file or system file. And then there's Amber Elec, which I've got there. I've saved these so I can switch between the two. Save that one just in case. And essentially, <clears throat> once you've bought your SD cards and you've downloaded these disk images, you're going to want to download a free piece of software. That will let you burn disk images. There's various different ones, but any burn is one I've had for me on my computer for a long time uh, you can burn discs you can rip discs you can make software discs you can burn images to discs but don't get confused with that because you're going to be using an SD card you'll want to create a bootable USB drive so once you've got your card plugged in you click that you search for your image file that will come up you just search where you saved it that's selected that now. I haven't got an SD card plugged in, but if you had an SD card plugged in, that'd show up there. Then you'd obviously click next and then OK. That would then burn the system to the SD card. You'd just simply take out the SD card and then pop it back in that top slot there. Turn it on. And then it'll start setting up what's called Amber Elec. It used to be called 351 Elec. Or if you use the original stock image, it would come up with Emuelec or whatever. They're just systems and basically you're downloading different system 
firm wears. I found this one works better, so this is what I use now. Just scrolling through the various stuff I've got on here. Game Boy. The only Game Boy games I'm playing is on here. <coughs> um, then, if you've got games pre-installed, let me just uh, turn it off properly. Like I say, it's like a computer. You have to press start, quit, shut down system. Okay, then that'll turn off. Um, when I put an SD card in there, having copied all of those over to this SD card, if you want to find ROMs, just put in Google ROMs for Game Boys. Again, the one I've got originally off eBay, the card in it came with all of these. Half of these I don't even play, but I've kept them anyway. Um, I copied all these back over to the brand new SD card and it told me I needed to format the SD card first because I'd forgot to do it. So, Amber Elec, I'm pretty sure the same for 351 Elec, uh, MU Elec, Amber Elec and 351 Elec are pretty much the same. You're going to want to put your SD card in your computer, go on my computer, your SD card will pop up there, right click, then it will say format. When you format it, do it to XFAT, then copy all your games back over, and then you'll have... Your SD card popped back in there, and everything should be ready to go. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything there. I'm really new to this sort of stuff, and I took about two days trying to suss out how to do these things. So, like I say, I'm going to upload these two different stock firmwares, these two different firmwares, the stock firmware and Amber Elec, to the Internet Archive, because it's essentially a free database, and I'll put the links in the description. If you do get stuck just let me know it's really straightforward um i originally had the stock firmware on a new sd card and i thought this is a bit naff that's why i upgraded to amber elec uh, it was a bit confusing adding the new firmware to the sd card when it had existing firmware on it i had to find some really good formatting tool from off the internet to format it completely because of the partitions and all that so it may be easier just for having two sd cards and then keep one with the original firmware on it if you ever want to sell it and then one with your custom firmware on so yeah again i'll end this now if you have any questions just let me know